Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I'm going to do your April the 8th just for today in a meditation. Hope you're having a beautiful morning. Let's go ahead and get into that meditation. If you need to reach me, feel free to do so at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Okay, here we are. The title of this meditation is Happiness. We come to know happiness, joy, and freedom. That's taken from the basic text, page 91. If someone stopped you on the street today and asked you if you were happy, what would you say? Well, gee, let's see. I have a place to live, food in the refrigerator, a job, my car is running. Well, yes, I guess I'm happy. You might respond. These are outward examples of things that many of us have traditionally associated with happiness. We often forget, however, that happiness is a choice. No one can make us happy. Happiness is what we find in our involvement with Narcotics Anonymous. The happiness we derive from a life focused on service to the addict who still suffers is great. Indeed, when we place service to others ahead of our own desires, we find that we take the focus off ourselves. As a result, we live a more contented, contented, harmonious life. Let me repeat that. As a result, we live a more contented, harmonious life. In being of service to others, we find our own needs more than fulfilled. Happiness, what is it really? We can think of happiness as contentment and satisfaction. Both of these states of mind seem to come to us when we least strive for them. As we live just for today, carrying the message to the addict who still suffers, we find contentment, happiness, and a deeply meaningful life. Just for today, I'm going to be happy. I'll find my happiness by being of service to others. Let's take a moment of silence, followed by the we version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Where are you at with happiness? This sentence, this quote from the basic text, we come to know happiness, joy, and freedom. How do we come to know happiness? For many of us, and I can say for myself, uh, my happiness was dependent greatly upon whether or not my outward signs of achievement, attainment, materialism had been attained. If what I had on the outside the home that I lived in, the car that I drove, the husband that I had. If those things looked good on the outside, it would appear that I was happy. However, there was something that would always happen in my days of using. Because I was a functional, right? somewhat functional addict. I still had problems getting up and getting ready for work on time on Monday morning. But after I got to work on Monday morning, there was a routine that took place until 5.01 Friday night. And I would master that routine. No matter how much I used during the week. I had a routine during the week, so I was a functional addict. And I realized 
that even though I, I wasn't living in poverty, I had nice vehicles. I wore anything that I wanted to wear. I wore some of the most beautiful suits that a girl could want to wear. I invested in my wardrobe immensely to an overflow. My hair, my nails, everything about my outside would make a person think that I was very happy. However, without fail, soon as I put the drug in me, I would become depressed. I would become overly analytical and conversational. I would become ready to debate at a drop of a hat. And in this using state, I would always see that I was a fake. There was nothing that was really truly happy about my life. My connection to my higher power was false. My presentation of being a spiritual individual was false. My love for others was questionable. I would start seeing what was really inside of me, which was a lot of self-loathing. And this mirage of happiness was something that I created. Now, let's fast forward to when I got clean. This is what I figured out. Even though I put the drug down, there were still these moments of realization that I was a miserable mug. I was not happy at all. And the thing about this is that it went on and on and on. And there was no drug within me that would alter my perception. I realized in that moment that it's a state of being that I choose for myself. I choose it amidst my storms. I choose it regardless to what's going on. That, that natural state of joyfulness was not the norm for me. And I would use things outside of myself to try to set it in motion. Paint this picture of happiness. And that's when I realized, you know, you need to get a sponsor and work the steps. You're going to need some help in figuring out what's really, really, really going on. And also, there was one time that I actually found that I was content. And it's when I was not thinking about myself. I started doing service work for this particular group. And I found out not only did they need individuals to do service work, that I was good at it. And that it was something that benefited other people. And that was something that I noticed almost right away. Almost Right away, when I started making local meetings, which would have been at around 13 months clean, I realized, okay, when you're helping others in this atmosphere, because hospitality, right? It, I'm very hospitable today, but I don't believe that hospitality was something that I was just really good at. So when I got clean and started doing service work at 13 months, I figured out service work was a moment that didn't last too long, about an hour or two. And in the doing of the service work, I relinquished the obsession with myself. 
it was like a form of meditation actually for me because I wasn't thinking and chasing my own thoughts. I was like, oh, that put me on chill. I like that. And I did more and more of it and always have. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you. I hope that you will have a beautiful day on purpose. I intend to talk to you soon.